Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be the semi-finals match for the APA Academy. And we're here up against Steven Thurston and uh, he pretty much beat us pretty darn badly last time we played against each other. But we uh, obviously have very different teams for the playoffs and uh, honestly, I don't think I match up well at all. I think he 100% has the matchup advantage. I don't like my chances here at all. I built what I could against this matchup, but uh, I'm not feeling too great about it. Um... Did you see the Toxapex, Incineroar, Coma O, Mega Diancie, Celesteela, and Landorus? So I have a Landorus of my own. Um, so let's see what he left behind. No Rabombi. No Rabombi is actually pretty uh, substantial. No Serena. No Serena. And no Musharna. No Musharna is so huge. And no Palisand as well. Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I mean, I honestly kind of want to lead off with my Togekiss here. I honestly kind of want to lead off with my Togekiss here. I do have a Fire MZ Necrozma. I really, really wanted to build myself a Calm Mind Necrozma, but I have Sub uh, just so I don't get Leech Seeded. And uh, I can't get Toxic by the Toxic Pack. So that felt kind of necessary to me, but... Um, Fire MZ on its own should be doing a decent amount to the... Celesteela, and I should be able to deal with most other things here. I could also... I think I'll just lead off with the Togekiss. Togekiss seems like an okay option all around. I mean, obviously, except for the Celesteela. That wasn't supposed to press that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna struggle with this matchup no matter what happens, and uh, obviously it's gonna depend a lot on how we play this out but um there's certain matchups that i simply have to concede like i like certain mons just simply don't do anything against it, some of his mons like um the my landers matchup against his celesteela i have to just concede that matchup because i really can't even touch it at all i, I can you turn out and try to get a better matchup but uh we do get a decent starting matchup here and this would allow me to this would allow me to air slash pretty freely i am scarfed um, I'm modest max special attack scarfed here. Um, so I feel okay. I didn't, of course, I didn't take a screenshot of the, of the, um, matchup, but I'll take a screenshot of the bottom screen here. The only thing that super duper switches into it would be the Celesteela. And that I antsy, I suppose. But, okay. I think I can... I mean, ultimately, it feels like I can wear down his team over time a little bit, but overall, Togekiss doesn't have... I'm just going to fire it off an Air Slash and see where that leaves us. Uh, honestly, I could have clicked Trick to try to trick the Celesteela. Yeah, the Celesteela was clearly going to come in, and I could have clicked Trick on it. That, was pro that probably would have been the best play possible, but at the same time, I do want to see... Okay, so we do about 20%. Um, I think that's worth counting. Celesteela. I'm gonna put on a blank set here. And I'm gonna start... Oh, 20% doesn't have to be... invested at all. In fact, I don't even think this thing could be max HP, and... This thing could autonomize right the heck now. I am going to... Huh. I think I go into Galvantula right now. And I'm going to try to pop a Vault Switch here. Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I should just uh, play a little bit more conservatively and click Thunder here. Does it go for the Leech Seed. So yeah, I'm, I am going to try to hit the Vault Switch here. Um, worst case scenario, he goes into he goes into Landorus, and I can attempt to HP ice it. But um, yeah, that is nowhere near my biggest concern right now. I'm just going to click Volt Switch here. Um, I think Celesteela is pretty valuable to him, so I would be surprised if he stays in. But I don't know. Landorus makes the most sense, I guess. I should have attempted to think about the landers a little bit more. Um, 
but I put in enough speed into Galvantula to always outspeed a max speed Landers, which I don't think he ever brings. I don't think a max speed Landers has ever really a play here, but uh, there wasn't really much that I needed speed for, and I could still run Modest with um, running that amount of speed. Does withdraw. Does he go into the Landorus? Okay. No, goes into this. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Interesting, interesting. So, I will get Intimidated. And this is kind of screaming Assault Vested to me, but I don't, I'm not too, too sure. Let's see. Um, Incineroar. Incineroar did 25%, right? That's, yeah, that's 25% exactly with Volt Switch. Um, yeah, this thing doesn't necessarily have to be Assault Vested, but I think it's specially defensive. I think it's like max special defense. It almost has to be. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can think. I think I can just go into Landorus and pop a U-turn here, or get up rocks. I could also get up rocks, but U-turn feels better to me in this situation. He could go into his own Landorus, which would be unfortunate. It does honestly make me want to click U-turn. Yeah, his own Landorus makes me want to click U-turn on its own. I'm gonna click U-turn. He stays in and lets me click U-turn. Okay. Um. I guess I go into Togekiss here. As he gets his own U-turn. Okay, fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, now he can go into Cell Stealer pretty darn freely, which he's almost definitely going to. But I think now is when I pop a trick. I think now is when I pop a trick. That sounds right to me. That sounds right to me. I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't know. I'm super curious to know what the item this thing would be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we just get taken out. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm just pretty free to go into Galvantula here. Um, that was unexpected. <laughs> as far as uh, things go, that was pretty darn unexpected. Okay. Now I try to pop a thunder here. Wow, that was really unexpected. I genuinely did not expect that. Honestly, I thought the most likely option would be that he would be Wakanberry from the way that he's been playing. But, um... Does go into this thing. We do pop a thunder, and we get to see how much this does. Um... Yeah, that did about 20%. And this is probably... Let's see here. Coma O. I'm gonna give it a blank set Coma O. Because I did about 20% with Thunder. Which, yeah, I think that means that this is a super defensive... Yeah, this is a very defensive Coma O. Which makes HP Ice pretty much useless, but I can Volt Switch out, and giving up my Togekiss in that way might honestly lose me the match straight up to this Coma O. I'd be very curious to see if this is um, that specially defensive as well as, as Dragon Dance. Maybe Necrozma is the better play here. No, I'm going to attempt to get rocks up here. And I need to prevent whatever this Como is trying to do right now. Let's go for the rocks. That's totally fine. 
Um, I'd be surprised if this is an HP Ice Koho, but I mean, at this point, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna click Defog straight away. This is going to be a pretty wild match. Dustin, and let me get the Defog off. And there's the Toxic. Okay. I mean, I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that. Let me see here. Um, I think I'm just fine to get to try to get my own rocks up, and then next turn, I think I'm gonna U-turn out here. Uh, into what? I don't even know. It's super risky to try to U-turn out into my Necrozma right now because I really do need my Necrozma to do a lot of damage in this matchup right now. Uh. Goes for another toxic. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But now. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm an Aya Papa Berry. Uh, Landorus. Now I can click U-turn, and I'm super afraid of, of him going for the triple toxic. I think he's much, much more likely to go for another Stealth Rocks now that I've set up my own, and he knows that I'm defog with rocks. Um so what does that mean that I can do here? It might mean that I can go into... I want to say go into Greninja, but that's not right. I think I have to try to go into Necrozma. And actually, you know what? Okay, so I think he gets up rocks here, right? And... I think that's going to allow me to set up a sub on his Toxic. And then I can attempt to fire off a Photon Geyser. This is exactly the type of situation that I did bring sub for. To try to not get seated and or... Uh, it does withdraw. Interesting, interesting. Goes out into this thing. We'll take rocks, and, uh, I will get intimidated, so. No physical photon geysers for me. But this will allow me to click Earth Power. And I should, I should just straight up outspeed. Does have the Shuckaberry, which is pretty wild to me, but, uh, that's fine because he is low enough where, ooh, interesting, he takes it. He takes it, so I might get knocked off. Goes for the Darkest Lariat. Totally understandable, so... I leave this exchange without a sub intact, which... Really does suck. It genuinely does suck. But I had no better move to go for, because my other two moves are... Uh, Photon Geyser and Heat Wave. So I really had no better play. I really had no better play. That was just a super unfortunate bring for such a specially defensive Incineroar to also have a Shuckaberry. Um, yeah, I just had no better play. If he goes into the Cell Steela, then there's no question that I click Fire MZ. If... Um, and I should be able to 1v1 mo most of the things. The Diancy would scare me out. The Diancy would for sure scare me out, I think. Uh, rightfully so. But, uh, all he knows is that I'm sub with Earth Power, and, uh, he doesn't know that I'm Z Fire Z yet. Which, uh, I'm definitely gonna wanna, wanna, you know, keep close. But... Uh, the Diancy is reasonably scary. I mean, Landris is probably his best play here. Landers is probably his best play here, but uh, if Landers does come in, then I have to switch out into something else. I have to get myself a, a better matchup. Um, I also probably have to try to defog. I do also have spikes on my Greninja, but I don't know. Spikes isn't going to be the most useful here. He's super duper thinking about this play. Um, I think he has to bring in Landers. I don't think he really has too big of an option here. Goes into this. Okay. He was probably fiercely calking out whatever type of 
matchup we have against each other, but I think I have to switch out here. An offensive Mega Diancy. Because I need this thing to be able to hit the Cell Seal really hard. And I do do a lot of damage to this thing. I don't know. Maybe I do have to. Maybe I do have to stay in and click Earth Power. Maybe I do have to stay in and click Earth Power. It looks like I should take whatever hit this thing wants to go for. And Earth Power just does, just does so much damage. I think I have to try for it. But man, if I if I was able to keep my sub up, then this would be a completely different game right now. Goes for a Calm Mind. Interesting. I should take a plus one hit, I think, right? Oh, I plus one earth power does not look great. But I think that's I I don't know, man. He has to attack me now. He has to attack me now. So I have a very specially defensive um Delmise, but I but I don't take two hits at plus one. So I have to give something up, and it probably just has to be my landers here. It probably just has to be my landers here. I don't think I mind at all giving up the landers here. Um, Magnet Rise. See, I, I don't, I don't really think this even matters because he still has to attack me. If he goes for another calm mind, then I U-turn out and bring in rock polish. Okay, now that's bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is still fine. This is still fine because I got a slow U-turn into my specially defensive Delmise, and Delmise always takes a hit, gets off an anchor shot, and um, I think we're okay. Don't get me wrong. This is a flames um. Uh, this is a Flames uh, Diancy set, but this thing is designed to take it on. This thing could also have HP Ice, I guess? Well, no. It, it's Mono Moon Blast, obviously. It's Mono Moon Blast. And I take a plus one... Oh, do I take a mod? Oh, no. I for sure take a Modest Moon Blast. I for sure take a Modest Moon Blast at plus one. And I can just get an Anchor Shot off. He would have to crit me. Yeah, we taking it. Oh, but wow, that was that was a pretty flame set. That was a pretty flame set. But uh, Delmise was out here. Delmise was out here for me. Uh, this is also super interesting because um the main Delmise answers are gone the incineroar and the dom uh, and the um diancy are gone uh toxapex i can synthesis up on uh and yeah cell steel is gonna air slash me which is not ideal but I think, again, I have to try to go into Landorus. Ideal situation would, would be he gets me into Ayapapa range. And uh, I, I get some HP back and I'm able to get a slow U-turn off here. That'd be ideal situation. Goes for a heavy slam. R at minus one. Uh, Toxic takes puts me in Ayapapa range. And that is going to let me get the slow U-turn off. That's going to let me get a slow U-turn off. Which will allow me to go into my Necrozma. 
And actually, uh, I think I have to assume that this thing is pretty darn offensive. I'm going to assume the worst. I'm going to assume the worst. And that this thing is pretty much max attack. But is at minus one. With my... With my Necrozma. Oof. Yeah. Necrozma, if this thing's max attack... I mean, this thing could be adamant as well, which would suck. So, okay, if this thing is adamant... If this thing is adamant, then it always breaks a Necrozma sub. If it's not adamant, if it's not max attack adamant, then it sometimes breaks a Necrozma sub. Regardless, I think I have to go into Necrozma. I think I have to go into Necrozma. And I might have to attempt a Fire MZ. I think the fact that I did think about it um, would make him think that I don't know what I want to what I wanted to go into. But he for sure would not want to go into the Toxapax. Uh, Landorus wouldn't appreciate this hit. Coma O wouldn't be too big of an option. So maybe he does think that I'm unsure of what I want to do. Does go for the Heavy Slam. Um, yeah, that looks like it would have broken sub. I, I, I'm gonna have to look um uh, after the fact as to whether it would have. But in front of Overdrive should, I believe, always take out this, this Celestila. And, uh, don't get me wrong. My positioning is still not the best. Like, even a little bit. But, uh, we got some major, major threats out of the way. Some major, major threats out of the way. Uh, for one, the Como still potentially beats me. Um, and actually, yeah, Necrozma was always my best option because um, Galvantula always scared him out. Goes into this thing. And I think that's fine. He probably clicks U-turn, actually. He probably clicks U-turn. And I think Delmize is pretty expendable here. Yeah, Delmize, I think, is the most expendable here. I think the best thing Delmize would be able to do is potentially get a... Potentially get a... Toxic off on Coma O, but I think his play would always have to be to U-turn. Um, his best option to U-turn into would probably be the Coma O, but... Uh, You could also just not want, want to mess at all with um, my Necrozma and try to knock me off, but I think you would have to calc knock off out because of Prism Armor. And uh, the fact that I could potentially be max HP or defensive or whatever the case may be, um, but he, I mean, he probably knows um, enough about me by now through the Cell Steela damage, but uh, I guess you never know. I guess uh, he might still be too un okay goes for a sword stance and he is going for game but um he has to rock polish to be greninja or he's yachi berry which should also be pretty bad but i think i have to just he has to mm. He could, he could be Flyzy. Flyzy would be the most likely. I'm going to click Toxic here. Goes for an EQ. We probably don't take this, but if we did, that would be pretty dope. Uh, But yeah, no, the play has to be to now go into Greninja. Keeping Greninja healthy for this long uh, is pretty clutch. This thing could a thousand percent be Yachi Berry. Um, in fact, this thing is almost definitely Yachi Berry, but I don't think I have any other counterplay here. And realistically, Greninja wasn't doing anything against the Toxapex or the Coma-O, knowing that 
Komo is as um defensive as it was. But I think I have to just click Ice Beam. I am extra belt, so that is gonna help me out a little bit. Um, it's gonna bring him low enough where I can start to do some other things. But uh yeah, I straight up have to click Ice Beam here. Does withdraw? Okay, okay. So it's, it's scaring this scaring this thing out is enough right now. Scaring this thing out for now is enough. And I have to figure some some other things out. I can go straight into Landorus. And I think if I do go into Landorus, I think I just um, pop a Defog because I think Toxic Spikes is way too free for him right now. Um, and ultimately, Rocks are not going to be the biggest deal in the world anymore. I mean, honestly, it helps a lot for the Yachi Berry Ice Beam Calcs. Although, the fact that he switched out, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, Toxic Spice was a reasonably obvious play, so I think I have to just click Defog right now. Uh, I don't think I'm in a position where I can le let these things uh, stay on the field. I think ultimately I still lose this matchup, but... Actually, if I'd made the more aggressive play and gone straight into Necrozma, then I potentially get up a sub with Necrozma. <coughs> and I could have started to do something there. Mm. Let's see. Just go for another layer of Toxic Spice. That's fine. It looks like he's just going to click Toxic Spice until I get KO'd. Yeah, the... I think I might regret, if I do lose this, it's going to be because I didn't go into Necrozma, but I think he's giving me a free Earthquake here, and I think I have to just take it. I think he's going to just click Toxic Spikes until he, until he gets KO'd, and I have to take that Earthquake damage. Yeah, so now everything is going to get Toxic Poisoned, and uh, Landris is going to go down right now. But, that's going to allow... What does that allow me to do? That allows Necrozma to get a Photon Geyser off. Which he doesn't switch into. So that'll drop Toxapex. Then he brings in... Then he brings in Landorus, and I lose because I can't be Coma O. I would switch out against the Coma O. I go now Galvantula. I click Volt Switch. And I Volt Switch. I Volt Switch into Greninja, which would force in the Coma O. I get an Ice Beam off on the Coma O. I get close combated. Going into Cruzma, get a Photon Geyser. I don't have enough time to think about this. I go. I could go into Greninja, get a Dark Pulse off. Yeah, that might be the best play. Although I have to, I have to know that I even take that out. Toxapex. I don't think there's time. I think I just have to click it. Dark Pulse looks like it might be a roll actually, but it's my best play. I think I have to do this. I think I have to do this. If I don't KO, then it sucks. But I have to. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay if I just get a... I think this is going to be okay if I just get some Ice Beams off. I think as long as I get some damage off here, I think I'm okay.
Uh, man. There's the Ice Beam. I think he has to attack me. Goes for the Drain Punch. Okay, that's pretty much worst case scenario. But, you know what? I think... That should allow Necrozma to get a big, big hit off. Actually, I think if I do bring in Necrozma, I think I have to double. I think I have to double here. Do I, though? I mean, Landorus... I don't remember how much HP Landorus had. But it was a reasonably offensive Landorus. It was a pretty offensive Landorus. Photon Geyser does so much damage to a Landorus. I think I had enough damage on it. Or Photon Geyser might mean something. But I, I feel like I can't risk it. And... I feel like this is so much the better play here. And 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 this Como is not in is not in a position where it can run speed. I don't think I think he has to. I think he has to switch out into Landers here. Goes for roar. Wow. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, I just click Photon Geyser now. That's wild. Zero percent of me expected that. Maybe he knew that I was going to switch out there. Oh, he outspeeds. Mm. Doesn't do a ton. But that's going to be enough damage where I don't think I win anymore with an Necrozma. Nope, that's going to be it. That's going to be GG. Yeah, I think I definitely made some um, less than optimal plays. But... Uh, the fact that he outspeeds me means that my Galvantula now doesn't beat this thing, right? And... I need my Galvantula. I need my Galvantula to beat the, the, his last three mons, and um, I don't think I can. I just can't. Komo against uh, Max Special Defense Komo against Galvantula. Now look, if the oh, okay. Um, it looks like HP Ice might get it. Man, if, if HP Ice can cop this KO, then I might win. Because I can HP Ice Landers and I can Thunder the Toxapax. HP Ice is my best move. I'm, I'm extra belted HP Ice. A max special attack modest. If I can get this KO then I have a chance. It's a crit! It's a crit. It's a crit, it's a crit, it's a crit. I should always take out the Landorus, and like I said, I am... I do have enough speed for a max... an absolute max speed Landorus, and we know that it's not Scarfed or anything like that. The only question is the Toxapex. The only real question is the Toxapex. Let's assume a max special defense Toxapex, dude. Yeah. Thunder probably picks up Toxapex. He could switch, he could pull doubles to wear me down to Toxic. Wow.
Uh, oh my god, I think this KOs. It doesn't KO. Ugh, that's gonna be the game. Yeah, I'm I'm never gonna know his investment, and I don't think we take this, and I, and I don't think we take this plus two turns of... plus two turns of Toxic, but... We were so close with Galvantula. <laughs> I guess, ugh, man, 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 man. We were so, so close. If that did KO, then yeah, I think Thunder would have picked that that last KO up. Um, oof, I'm blown away. That's going to be a great game to Steven. Um, it is almost 2 a.m. at this point. We'll be back really, really soon, uh, now that the EVA Academy is over with more weeks of the UBL, as well as uh, I see more, week, more weeks of the ICBA, uh, a league war that's coming up soon, and a PGBL season coming up really, really soon. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.